Pakistan, more than 51% families live and breathe around agricultural activity. While up to three-fourths of the buying power of the country in the global market comes from this age-old relationship between man and nature. Although industry may be the need of today, it is obvious that the economic and cultural significance of agricultural activity is never going to diminish for Pakistan. At the same time, this fact also emphasizes the importance of keeping agricultural processes in step with the fast approaching high-tech age of the future. The vastness of such an undertaking requires an equally comprehensive institution. NARC, the National Agricultural Research Center, was established in 1984. It serves as a premier research establishment of the Pakistan Agricultural Research Council, PARC. It plays a central role in national coordinated agricultural research while supplementing provincial research efforts. The Director General NARC is the guiding force behind all NARC research. Assisting him is a management board which advises him on major policy issues. The Deputy Director General, supported by a research committee, oversee management of research activities. Timely and relevant objectives guide NARC research. They are to increase the productivity and quality of priority crops, develop and introduce improved technology for Barani areas, improve processing and minimize losses of agricultural products for human consumption, establish economically sound livestock productivity and technology, develop improved farming system technology, strengthen the national agricultural system of conducting basic and applied research, facilitate the documentation and flow of scientific and technical information, provide quality facilities for national and international training, accelerate the transfer of improved agricultural technology and information through audio-visual communication so as to increase agricultural production. By providing necessary high quality basic and applied research, NERC serves as a linchpin in an integrated agricultural research system of national importance including the Agricultural Atlas of Pakistan. The work related to Agricultural Atlas of Pakistan was reorganized during 1990 and the project was accorded high priority. The primary objective of this idea is to present information related to agricultural sector in order to enable systematic resource use planning for sustained agriculture in the country. The secondary objective is to generalize information for agroecological regions of Pakistan so that the atlas can be used by planners, administrators, research managers, researchers, extension agents and progressive farmers. The central theme of the atlas is resource and research based scientific agriculture. NARC is laboratory oriented offering well-equipped professionally staffed modern research facilities to scientists throughout the country. This includes an electron microscope which enables researchers to study and analyze biological and physical samples. NARC leads nationally coordinated programs of the Pakistan Agricultural Research Council with central laboratories, a crop sciences institute, farm machinery institute and animal sciences institute. Thus it is able to tackle agricultural problems essential to national development. The central laboratory staff carry out a wide range of activities in areas of plant physiology, pathology, virology, microbiology, soil and water management, insect and weeds control, tissue culture and nutrition.
The Crop Sciences Institute responds to Pakistan's needs for increased crop production. Researchers are busy improving all the major food and feed traditional and non-traditional crops of which wheat and rice are the most important ones. Emphasis is placed on the diversification of the genetic base for rust resistant and the development and testing of varieties. A gene bank is maintained to collect, evaluate, conserve and use plant genetic resources to improve crop varieties. The gene bank has compiled a broad base of genetic material collected from both foreign and local sources. NARC researchers use desirable genes from indigenous plants in developing promising disease and drought resistant hybrids. The rice program applying innovative means works for the improvement of basmati rice, develops direct seeding technology and evaluates germplasm for resistance to biotic and abiotic stresses. Similarly, through various coordinated units in provinces, research is being carried out on maize, pulses, oil seeds, fruits and vegetables, fodder and forage, sorghum and millet. The Farm Machinery Institute plays an important role in the mechanization of agriculture in Pakistan. The Institute's prime objective is to design and develop practical, cost-effective farm machinery. Close cooperation with the private sector guarantees machinery which is commercially viable. The Institute's Industrial Extension section designs technical systems and supplies them to local industries. The result is the production of farm implements which are appropriate to Pakistan's agricultural conditions. Tractors, power tillers and seed rows have been developed through this program. The Animal Sciences Institute carries out work designed to optimize the productivity of farm animals. The coordination of 10 research disciplines promotes the development of efficient feeding, breeding, management and disease control. Embryo transfer, reproductive physiology, dairy technology, animal nutrition, animal health and fisheries are just a few of the research areas which have obtained promising results. An experimental livestock farm carries out practical research. Milestones include the first embryo transfer in Pakistan in which a jersey calf was born to an indigenous cow. NARC put another feather in its cap by extending embryo transfer technology to buffaloes. Diagnosis and development of an effective vaccine against mysterious and deadly poultry diseases was another major achievement. NARC water resources section is engaged in research related to control of soil erosion caused by water through integrated land and water use in gullied areas and rural watershed. This section has developed a low-cost rain gun sprinkler irrigation system for supplemental irrigation in areas where traditional irrigation is not possible. The system is focused on the problems of small farmers. In the Honey Bee Laboratory, interdisciplinary research is conducted both for increasing honey production as well as the yield of insect pollinated crops. Beekeeping technology practiced in advanced countries has been tested under local conditions. Some new techniques have been developed for control of pests and the result is more than 270 tons of honey worth rupees 13 million annually. NARC also develops research manpower. The NARC Training Institute provides a forum for comprehensive training in agricultural research. The Training Institute caters to provincial and national manpower needs. Training is both theoretical and practical. NARC facilities enable trainees to field test material presented in the classroom. It maintains up-to-date research holdings of various 
technical publications and a well-stocked and continually growing National Agricultural Research Library is available to researchers as well as to the training participants. NARC has also established a research projects database. This computerized storage and retrieval system provides quick access to reliable information for researchers, planners as well as policy and decision makers. Research and extension complement each other. The Technology Transfer Directorate of NARC disseminates the research-based knowledge to the Provincial Extension Network. The feedback of field problems and research results enables NARC scientists to make research more objective and realistic. The Directorate even carries out research in extension methodology. NERC also cooperates with foreign scientists and researchers to develop and carry out projects. The Canadian-sponsored Barani Agricultural Research and Development Project, BARD, has developed technologies benefiting nearly 13 million Barani farmers. BARD has introduced new cultivars, production methods and farm machinery. Working under the BARD project, our scientists and researchers have produced high quality canola edible oil by using local materials. An Italian government funded program has also been carried out. NARC and Italian experts have undertaken research in fruits and vegetables and improved production technology for different commodities has been introduced. Italian and Pakistani specialists promote the cultivation of citrus fruits, grapevines, major vegetables, crops and olives. Production technology adapted to local conditions has yielded fruitful results in producing off-season vegetables to stabilize round-the-year supply as well as in normalizing the costs of vegetables for the consumer. Development of agricultural technology is but one aspect of NARC activities. The proper management and dissemination of research data is an important need of any research system. The USAID-sponsored Management of Agricultural Research and Technology Project, or MART, responds to this need. MART specialists are working to strengthen research management and administration farming systems, research, provincial research operations, and support. For effective dissemination of agricultural information to end users, audiovisual technology plays an important role. NERC, under the MART project, has established its own audiovisual communication unit. Sophisticated media equipment is used for the transfer and communication of research results and agricultural technology generated by our scientists. To realize this objective, strong emphasis is being placed on integrated presentation programs, preparation of video documentaries, and the use of television and traditional audio-visual media. Audio-visual facilities include audio and video studios, computer graphic system, art and design section, and a central video library. Provincial communication support cells have also been established in all four provinces. NERC acts as a magnet, bringing together previously fragmented research by coordinating research at the national level. This coordination eliminates repetition and waste, which previously hindered agricultural research. The result is a more streamlined and cost-effective research program benefiting the entire nation. Through continued research efforts of NARC, agricultural production technology in Pakistan will continue to advance. The result will be a stronger agricultural sector capable of overcoming complex problems and making a significant contribution to the economic vitality of Pakistan.
Thank you.